Hey, welcome to day 14 and Matthew chapter 6. I know yesterday we were in Matthew chapter 6, but a little further on down in the book, Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. As you turn there, let me pray for you. Father, again, help us to set our mind, get things straight first thing in the morning, set our priorities, and at seeking you first. We give you glory and honor. Help us to be encouraged with today. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, Matthew chapter 6, verse 33 reads like this. It's a good scripture. It's one of my staple scriptures that I use. And uh, let me read it to you. I didn't quote it, but let me read it to you. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. I mean, know that God knows everything about you. Yeah, he does. But prayer and fasting is about creating space for God. <coughs> Excuse me. Clearing a runway in our lives for God to land. And, and uh, you know, sometimes we have a calendar that's all full, 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 full. And then we pencil God in after the fact and give him the leftovers. Uh, we want to do something different today. We want to pencil God in first and then everything else gets the leftover time. So when you want something new and exciting to happen in your life, then you have to create some space and create a space for God to be first. So an expectant mom goes to great lengths to create the perfect nursery space for her new little one. She doesn't do it after the fact. It goes to great lengths before the fact. Think about that new thing that you would want God to do in your life. Think about that problem that is blocking your path that you need God to, to remove. As much as God wants to do something amazing in your life, he is a filler, not a forcer. He wants to fill that space not force his way in. So too often we spend so much time and energy trying to figure out and anticipate every scenario. We want God to do this. We want God to do that. But all the while God is saying, just create a little space for me and I'll come in and fill it. Now, by seeking God and by following him fully, you are creating space for God to move. Now, as you fast and as you pray, you're making room for God to do what only he can do. Remember, he is the filler, not the forcer. Maybe you've tried to participate in this fast, but have found yourself stumbling along the way. Don't worry about that. I want to encourage you to keep going. Don't be discouraged by looking at the times you gave in to hunger or you messed up. Be encouraged by this. When we draw near to God, he draws near to us. Father, help us create the valuable time and space for God to move in our lives. Holy Spirit, I ask that you reveal the things that need to be removed and let that be the space where God comes in and fills and moves in ways that he does that only he can do. And we give you glory. We give you honor and praise for that as you reveal that to us. And in our journal, we write those things down, Father. And we'll go back over and over and remind ourselves that these are the things, God, that have blocked you from moving in my life. Help us in Jesus' name today. Amen. Man, I'm so glad that you're here today. And let God be the filler, not the forcer of your life. God bless you. See you tomorrow.